President Mohamed Buhari has just inaugurated his long-awaited cabinet in Abuja, the nation's capital. The inauguration took place on Wednesday, 21st August 2019. Right after the ministers were sworn in, the president assigned portfolios to all 43. However, only seven women made it to the president's new cabinet. The following are the seven women and their portfolios. 1. Sharon Ikeazo from Anambra State as Minister of State for Environment. 2. Bemishola Saraki from Kwara State, Minister of State for Transportation. 3. Ramatuti Jani Aliu from Kogi State as Minister of State for the FCT. 4. Sadia Umar Farouk from Zamfara State as Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. 5. Pauline Tallinn from Plato State as Minister of Women Affairs. 6. Ambassador Miriam Katagum from Bauchi State as Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment. 7. Zainal Shamsuna Ahmed from Kaduna State as Minister for Finance, Budget and National Planning. The new cabinet is made up of 43 ministers consisting of 36 men and only 7 women. The representation of women in the new cabinet is about 16%, which is very low and has been said by many Nigerians not to be a fair representation of women in this administration. For a government that has always promised inclusive governance, one would have expected at least a 30% women representation in the proposed cabinet. Governance is enriched when women are given good representation. According to the 2016 World Bank report, the population of women in Nigeria is said to be about 49.33%, which is almost half of its population. Nations are poorer if they fail to tap the full potentials of half of its population. A good and fair representation and participation of women in governance is germane to achieving genuine democracy. There can be no real democracy when half of the population doesn't have a good or fair participation in governance. This is a call for more women participation and appointments in governance in Nigeria.